Castle to gavel. While the smash success of the FX miniseries, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, has proven once again that everyone still likes to talk about the trial of the century. Well, almost everyone. For nearly 20 years, Robert Shapiro, O.J. Simpson's first defense attorney, has remained silent until now. Thank you very much for being here. Why do you think the story still brings out so much passion? I think because, number one, Simpson himself, great all-American hero, one of the greatest football players who ever lived, first time DNA was ever used in a trial uh, of any significance. Very interesting lawyers on both sides and a horrible, devastating loss to, to two families. Mm -hmm. Mr. Simpson is a wanted murder suspect, two counts of murder. When O.J. Simpson was first arrested for killing his wife Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman, pretty much everyone thought he would be convicted. Not attorney Robert Shapiro. Shapiro was so famous, he's portrayed by John Travolta in the FX series The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Shapiro now says that a lot of what you think you know about the trial is wrong. First, Shapiro says he outmaneuvered Marsha Clark by making her believe he wasn't ready. The judge asked, Mr. Shapiro, what's your position? Your Honor, we're ready for trial. Looks at Marsha Clark and says, call your first witness. And you can see the blood come out of her face. And from that day on, I knew there would be no conviction. These are not efficient murders. These are murders that are really slaughters. Second, Shapiro believes the prosecution did not understand the evidence. Did the Dream Team win that case, or did the prosecution lose it? I think it's a combination of both. The prosecution wedded themselves to one knife, one killer theory. I think it's pretty clear that it was within reasonable medical probability that more than one knife was used. There's a strong possibility that more than one person was involved. And you believe the killer of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman has never faced trial? I think there's a strong possibility that that's the case. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. And finally, Shapiro had a plan for that bloody glove. I tried the glove on. It was a little bit wide in my palm and a little bit long in my fingers. O.J. Simpson has enormous hands. And I knew that that glove would not fit him. Really? Wouldn't even be close. Did you feel in that moment when you put your hand in the glove that you were trying on the glove of the person who murdered these two people? As you say it now, it is chilling. But I was looking for one thing and one thing only, the size of that glove. When O.J. Simpson was asked to try on that glove in that courtroom, did you realize it was a critical mistake by the prosecution? Here's what I told O.J. Simpson. I want you to walk as close to the jury as you can. Hold up your hand like you're holding the Olympic torch and pull and tug on that glove because it will not fit. And clearly it didn't. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. What was after the verdict? O.J. Simpson leaned over and whispered something in your ear. What did he say? You had told me this would be the result from the beginning. You were right. How did you feel when you saw O.J. laughing and posing for pictures shortly after the verdict? I thought it was inappropriate. Two people were dead. And there should still be some respect, certainly for your ex-wife. Now, when he was arrested for armed robbery and kidnapping years later, did he call you? No. Why not? Do you know? Up to him. I wouldn't have taken the case in any event. Why? He still owed me money from the first one. Really? After the verdict, Shapiro went on to create the popular website LegalZoom. Fast food like legal advice. Quick and affordable. We put the law on your side. But in 2005, Shapiro's life went into a tailspin when his 24-year-old son Brent died from a drug overdose. When you went to the hospital that morning, did they let you see him? The most difficult thing that a parent will ever endure is seeing a child on life support 
with her eyes taped closed. And standing next to his mother and knowing that you'll never see him again. The Shapiro family channeled their grief into the Brent Shapiro Foundation, which lobbied hard for a good Samaritan law that says anyone can report a drug overdose without fear of getting into trouble themselves. He wants this to be his legacy, but that's probably not what people will remember him for. What's the takeaway from the trial of the century? There's moral justice and there's legal justice. And when that not guilty verdict uh, was rendered, I felt legal justice was done. As far as moral